Okay, December, here we are. Welcome to this vlog. NaNoWriMo was a ride. I did make it over 20,000 words, which ended up being my goal in the end because there was no way I was gonna reach 50,000 words. I cut it back to 20,000 and yeah, I made it a little bit over and I put all the pieces that I wrote together, all the kind of ideas and snippets I had written beforehand, I've also integrated into the full manuscript, which is now 30,000 words-ish and I'm going through it doing first draft edits. Yeah, and at this point a lot of it is just like, I have puzzle pieces that kind of go places and I need to connect them somehow. So I'm enjoying that. I like that part. Um, just trying to make a continuous narrative at this this point for the first draft. And I'm about a quarter of the way through, so that feels pretty good. And I do have an end point, so that also feels great. I'm hoping to have a readable draft by the end of January. So that's coming up quick, but I figure I might as well Try to try to do it now while I have a bit more free time. I can't remember if I talked about this on the last vlog, but I have been writing uh, short stories in the past couple months, and they've been quite different from stories I've written in the past. <laughs> they feel a lot more personal and a lot more guided by my own experiences. That being said, one of the stories is about someone who hunts werewolves, and I obviously do not have that lived experience. But I think now that I've written a few novels and kind of worked on longer narratives, having the shorter narrative is something I'm actually enjoying a lot. You don't have to explain everything in a short story, whereas in a novel, people kind of want to know the whole the whole picture. They want to know the whole picture. And a short story is a little more mysterious, so I like that a lot. Just want to draw your attention to this lovely cover design by Christian Leferet, uh featuring a rabbit and uh, I believe his deck. <laughs> in the background, which I love. If you haven't seen the back, I usually don't post the back, so I feel like it's kind of sad that people don't get to see this really cool vine coming up here that he detailed. And Yes, I only have a few left, which is amazing, <laughs> which means I've sold most of them already. And if you do want a copy of a photo based on the book by the amazing Sarah Kibble, the photo is free when you order a copy of A Place That Used To Be. Oh, it rhymes. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, let me know if you would like to do that. I also have quite a few copies left of The Patch Project, and I'm always willing to send those out if you can't find a copy at your local bookstore or through chapters. Um, I believe both, both of my books are now in the chapter system, so if you do request it from chapters, I believe they can order them now. So that's an option. You can also order it from the library. And this cover was designed by Peter Brin. It's great, and I love it still. I'm excited to see what the third book will look like when it's all done. I don't have any ideas about the cover yet, so I think I'm gonna have to talk to Christian about that soon. <laughs> he's a busy guy, you know. He's got he's got like a book coming out and a novella coming out and he's just writing all the stuff and Ben's working on another book and yeah, it's great. Lots of lots of good stuff at Adventure Worlds Press these days. Alright, here's the segment you knew would be happening. It's the segment where I talk about how you should go to adventureworldspress.com and check out all their books. Because perhaps you have a friend or a relative or a secret Santa gift exchange even, uh, that you need to find a gift for. And books make excellent gifts. Uh, you're giving the person an experience, something that they can enjoy on their own time, no pressure, uh, a world they can get lost in. And Adventure Worlds Press has a wide assortment of books in different genres. We got horror, we have short stories, we have an action adventure, sci-fi, some space, novellas, post-apocalyptic, <laughs> a large, large, large array of, of genres. A lot of them are available in Windsor at Biblioasis and Juniper Books through Amazon and Barnes and Noble if you don't want to purchase anything through Amazon. Uh, I'll link their page below and you can just peruse. Um, and in Dartmouth, um, my books are available at Dartmouth Chapters, Dartmouth Book Exchange, or by sending me a message and I can get you a copy. I really love Adventure Worlds Press. I know I mention this every time I talk about them, but they are so good to work with and I feel really lucky to be in a community with them. So check them out. They're cool. I also want to thank the Dartmouth Book Exchange once again <laughs> for featuring my books not only in their store, but in an online author spotlight. It's really one of the best things about moving to Dartmouth is getting to be a part of this community of authors and readers, most of whom I haven't met yet. But yeah, your support means a lot, and the work you're doing is so appreciated, so thank you very much to the Dartmouth Book Exchange. I noticed in my last couple of vlogs that I had like a little segment where I kind of reviewed something, <laughs> and I didn't do that on purpose, I was just kind of rambling about what I've been uh, watching or reading. But I think I might keep it in as a regular thing, because I kind of like it, I like 
featuring something and offering you something in return for watching this vlog. So today I would like to recommend a winter read because it's kind of a pun on the book and it's a perfect book to read during the holidays. It's a little bit longer, a little bit denser, um, but it's rich with characters and rich with world building and it's actually one of my favorite books of all time. It's The Left Hand of Darkness by Ursula K. Le Guin and it is seriously a masterpiece. I know the first few chapters are like, what is going on? Why are there so many people with so many names? But it's really a book about trying to make connections and trying to communicate something um, about the world and the greater world and coming at it from two or three or four very different uh, points of view. There's also a segment where they cross a glacier <laughs> and for a while I was really into uh, like arctic uh, European exploration narratives. I bought a couple books about it and it was just fascinating just the lengths people had to go to to survive. Yeah, and you know, ignoring the culture of people who have survived there for thousands of years and insisting on wearing your, your woolen coats and your good British boots and then, you know, getting frostbitten. So <laughs> it was just really interesting to read about. And the way that it, Le Guin kind of uses that framework to create this really intimate friendship slash relationship is is so good. It's just so good. It's such a good book and I would love if you would read it and tell me about it and your experience reading it because I think it's really great. And I want to write like her and I want to write a book like that. This will probably be my last vlog before the holidays. I'm going to be working on Patch Project 3, like I said and maybe another short story or two depending on how I'm feeling and yeah I hope it's going to be a good December. Um, the past month has been kind of rough uh, but it's a season of hope so I'm trying to be hopeful and stay connected with people and uh, keep doing things that make me happy like writing and like making these vlogs and getting to connect with all of you so thank you for that I hope that you have a wonderful holiday with your family and friends, and yeah, that's all I have for now. Take care, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye! So if you're a fan of the Beatles, and you have Disney+, Plus, you should definitely watch Get Back because it is exceptional, and I loved watching it, and my husband and I can't stop watching it and talking about it. Also, Dig a Pony was a song that I did not care for at all before I watched the documentary, and now I sing it all the time. So that's saying something, I think.